Hello, church. It's good to be with you virtually today. I hope you are doing well. Hope that you were able to somewhat enjoy your Thanksgiving holiday, though it was a very different with uh, maybe your family didn't get as many people together as like our family. We didn't get as many together, but there was still no shortage of food and we're able to enjoy the little bit of company that we did have. Um, most of you have probably already heard the sad news from our church here this past week. Uh, our dear sister, Dorothy Thompson, passed away. Uh, she will be very much missed, as many of you are uh, very close to her and known her for many years. When I walked into the church building uh, 20 years ago, when the church was on 5th Street, uh, she was one of the first people I saw. She was handing out church bulletins. And uh, she was a, a sweet lady then and, and always was, uh, so I will miss her as well. Um, when I heard this news, I was reminded of the story in uh, Matthew chapter 25, the parable of the talents. Uh, and that's where Jesus tells the story and he says, well done, good and faithful servant. And uh, I'm sure that Dorothy heard those words, well done, good and faithful servant. I'd like to do a quick paraphrase on this parable of the talents because it's so applicable to uh, to us today and just to remind you there's a four people in this story as Jesus tells there is the master and then there are three servants and one servant was received uh, five bags of silver another was given two bags of silver and one was just given one bag of silver and the master was going away and he said invest this and I will return again someday and we'll see what you have. And when they returned, the first two servants, uh, they did very well. They doubled the, the amount of silver. And the master was just overjoyed with them. And he gave them more to be responsible of, more, more talents to take care of. And the last guy, who only had one to begin with, uh, he did kind of a foolish thing. He just kind of hit it in the ground. And I think this is kind of sad because... Uh, and, and the master was not pleased with him at all. He's actually quite angry with him. He had, still had some talent. He still had some silver to do something with, but he just did nothing with it. And I think an important point of this story is, you know, no one received more or less than they could handle. No one received more or less than they can handle. And that's very true in our lives today. You know, God puts, uh, gives us talents and gifts, but, uh, but no one has a lack of them. Uh, one might have more than another, just like we see in this story. But, uh, but the master would be just as pleased with us, with, with a little bit of gifts, and doing something with them. And uh, so don't be like that get last guy. Just kind of bury your talent. Just realize that God has plans uh, for you to, to do something for him. Uh, I think about the Christmas season coming up and think about... Uh, all the times we hear the word Jesus in, in just regular secular music. This is something that we don't normally hear the rest of the year. And what a great opportunity to, to share Christ. Because uh, right now people are looking for hope, especially in this pandemic, because it's such a crazy time. You know, no one likes this. And people are looking for things. And uh, boy, the hope we have in Christ is, is a great thing, because even though I am not having fun in this pandemic and would like to see it pass, I take great comfort in knowing that, uh, you know what, God's on the throne and he's going to make everything right. And this is not surprising him. He's going to do something with it. So that's a, a great hope that I have. And uh, it's something that we can share. So think about that this week as we go out. Thank you. Have a good week.